Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashura. Welcome. It is so nice to have you guys here. So this video is going to be a little bit different to the stuff I've been posting. I've just been a little bit curious and I have been curious in my whole channel. If you haven't watched my previous video, like your girl went vegan, your girl went vegetarian for 21 days. <laughs> Go check those videos out. But like I've been very curious lately about my body and just trying to understand like what's good for me what my body likes and yeah i've somehow stumbled upon menstrual cycle and i've somehow just built this interest of trying to understand literally everything about my body i am new to this and so if you know more than me please comment down feel free to correct me i don't mind any criticism i'm open to them just comment down your opinion or your thoughts on the stuff i'm about to share with you guys as well <music> So your menstrual cycle has four phases. You have your menstrual phase, follicular phase, ovulation phase, and your luteal phase. This video is just going to be focused on the menstrual phase. This phase lasts between three to seven days. Obviously, it varies with every female, so some can be longer or shorter. <laughs> In this phase you want to relax you want to just enjoy your own company your own space it's a great time to catch up on sleep because girl i don't know about you guys i'd be running on four hours sleep sometime i do not know how to do it but i do it okay that's just life but this is a great time to catch up on some sleep i love starting off my day by making up my bed i feel like it helps start your day off right it just sets the tone for the entire day and i just feel like you've accomplished your first task of the day it's just like a small sense of pride as well and it just encourages you to do another task. It's just a great way to de-stress and it just improves my mood and I feel like self-love, self-care differs um, with everyone. So whether that's just making your bed and that's enough for you, whether that's make, cleaning up your whole entire room or <laughs> the whole entire house, whatever it is that you love and doing, you do you if that makes sense. <laughs> Feel like it helps reduce stress anxiety it gives you like the sense of confidence as well and just by talking to yourself and understanding reflecting on experiences and emotions it's just i don't know it's a great way to just track your growth and progress in life i'm not gonna lie i'm not the best when it comes to journaling i don't there's days i forget to journal but i think that's just normal like you're gonna have days where you're just you feel good and you're like okay i don't really need to journal but there's days where you feel like you know what i want to catch up on some writing write some things down just get something off my chest i just feel like journaling is just a great way to start your day in general <laughs> Reading is just a great way to exercise your brain, escape from reality, get your mind off things um, and it's also like a form of entertainment. Once you find the right genre for you, like honestly it's a game changer, you're gonna love reading. You can do things that you love to do with other people, you can still do it with yourself. So such as going out for food, you can go out and have food with yourself. I don't know if I could ever do that. I always tell myself I need to try it once and see how I feel about it. But like, it's just daunting. Like, I don't know if I have the courage to go out, order a meal, sit down myself, eat myself. Like, I don't know. It just seems crazy. It's not your cup of tea. You can go out and, you know, go to the movies, watch something, you know, the cinema. And if you don't want to do that, you can just Netflix, watch something, a TV show, a movie. Just like enjoy your own time. And the thing about when you are menstruating is your emotions is heightened so if you think of like vampire diaries that's the only way i can describe it your emotions are so heightened so like i'm currently watching from scratch it's a tv show on netflix and i'm telling you girl i'm telling you guys it is such a it's such a sad sad tv show like i be crying in every single episode so if you're gonna watch something sad you're gonna be super sad if you're gonna watch something funny you're gonna be like laughing <laughs> you don't only want to work on things internally you want to work on things outside so pampering yourself look after your body from head to toe or you know self-care looks different to everyone some people have obviously like the whole shebang and other people is simple so whatever your self-care is you during do. your period your estrogen level is low causing your skin to dry out and obviously i've got a couple of breakouts i've got some here i had a couple here but they're going and i had like three here and they're going as well but yeah i tend to break out a lot during my period so i like to take care of my skin you know moisturize your skin use your sunscreen i know we are literally 
going into December but use your sunscreen the sunscreen I showed you guys I've been using it for how long <laughs> I don't even know I love it I love the one that has the scent it smells like coconut and it's just so nice it leaves my skin dewy I look I'm glowing okay and there's no white cast I like to do a head to toe self care I like to start with my hair so talking about hair I am using this gel anything that I've used in this video I'll try and link it down my Amazon front it works wonders for me I'm not sure if it'll work for stronger textured hair but for me it just lasts all day I love it and um, I wouldn't say it does really good during heat but winter time it just lasts all day it does really good during winter so yeah I like to do a head to toe and I use this which has like three or four different oils mixed together I've added this so this is new um, I've just recently purchased this. This is my first time using it and I've been seeing it all over TikTok. You girl is be saying it helps strengthen hair, you know, grow your hair out, healthy hair, all that stuff. So I'm definitely going to see what that's all about. Hopefully it helps me as well. You want to have warm food. You want to have soups. You want to have stews. You want to have nutrient dense, healthy fats like nuts, avocados. Um, you want to hydrate. Hydration is so important. So just having teas, peppermint tea, ginger teas during this time. Drink water with some lemon or cucumber inside if you want some kind of like flavor. So just, you know, whatever you do, try and drink as much fluids. But avoid, avoid caffeine avoid your caffeine um avoid fatty foods salty foods sugary food you can get sugar from like fruits and i would say have fruits like watermelons and berries stuff that have like water kind of in them and that will help with hydration as well <laughs> When it comes to exercise and stuff, I'm a big advocate of listening what your body wants. What is your body telling you? What is it saying? So just listen to what it wants. But from the research and everything that I've gathered, um, so far it's basically saying do some light walks, um, some light jogging, sorry. Um, you can do walks, it could be like for an hour. I think that's more than enough. Um, you can do some stretching, some yoga, if that's what you're into. But just keep it light. If you get really sore cramps, yeah, don't do anything crazy. But if you don't get cramps as much and you can do like weights and you can do more, then I would suggest, you know, just listen to what your body wants. And if your body is asking for you to go to the gym, go to the gym. I said chill, relax, enjoy your own time, space enjoy your own company do some light walking yoga stretching yeah i'm going to the gym i'm going to the gym my body's like go to the gym so i'm gonna listen to her and i'm gonna head to the gym if you get sore during your period don't go to the gym don't kill yourself mm -mm. don't kill your body like nah chill relax listen to my advice what you know the advice i was given relax chill you know take it easy take it easy but for me um i do get pains 
I'm not gonna be out here and say that no, I don't experience pain. I, I experience pain. I get lower back pain like crazy. Like I cannot get out of my bed. Like it'd be hurting. It feels like somebody's literally like my back feels like it's breaking. Like it is so sore. I literally can't get out of bed. So I do have those days, and of course I'm not gonna go to the gym during those days. Light baby hair, and I love using this spray before I head to the gym just you know to smell good but you girlies that be wearing makeup to go to the gym i'm sorry you guys are dangerous i i i said it here i said it here first your girls are dangerous like why are you wearing makeup to go to the gym girl you're gonna sweat it off like don't put that makeup on and it'd be the girls that be waking up 5 a.m 5 a.m they do the whole routine and then they put makeup on and go gym come back home have why are you wearing oh my i would never get it me doing my baby hair and you know smelling good is equivalent to makeup that 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 is as far as i will ever go when it comes to trying to look good and all that stuff at the gym girl but yeah your girl is in the mood to work out my body's like let's get physical let's let's it wants to it wants to do some mm -mm, some pumping some pump some something something you know but, um yeah we're gonna go to the gym and another thing is my gym is gonna be shut for two weeks so this is literally the last week that I'm, i'll be going to the gym so that's also another factor to why i'm going because i cannot miss literally three weeks of the gym that's crazy um i, I need to figure out what i'm gonna be doing for the next two weeks and you guys, it is 3 p.m., but I'm telling you, by the time it's half four, it's going to look like it's midnight. The way it is getting dark quick is crazy. It's scary. Jump scare? Like, it is scary. Like, scary. Because I walk back home from the gym. And I'm not trying to walk back home in the dark. Like, dark? No. So I try and go as early as I can just so that I can get home safely you know what i mean but do, but do you guys see the face weight loss like my 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 um jawline is really jawlining yeah i'm see i'm seeing it it's coming through this weight loss is coming through i can't wait i can't wait until i am 72 obviously if you watch my previous video, I am 72.4 kilograms. But your girl can't wait until she's like proper 72. Like even less than that. Like I know I've basically achieved my goals. But I just feel like. I don't know. I just feel good. I feel good. I accomplished big things this year. It's crazy because literally I was like, I'm going to lose weight this year. That was like my New Year's res resolution. And look at me, December. And your girls are doing good. Doing good. Okay, I'm so cringy. I'm going to go gym. What am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. The reasons why we get cramps is because the muscles in our room contract and relax to help shed built up lining and I don't really know what to share with you guys about tips and advice apart from the teas, you know, peppermint tea, ginger tea and that tea that I cannot pronounce. Let's avoid sugary, fatty, alcohol, caffeine, like avoid those in your diet, um, hydrate yourself as much as you can to help um, with headaches and stuff and heat packs of course. I, I really don't know what to say when, when it comes to advice and stuff. Thank you for watching and I am so grateful that you have made it to this to the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the follicular phase. Thank you!